In this video series, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step system and strategy for cashing in as an affiliate for physical, everyday type products. We're talking things like TVs, we're talking cameras, we're talking video game systems, video games themselves, very popular items that people buy that people want. So to do this and to start your research and also to become an affiliate, we're going to use the Amazon.com affiliate program for this example. Now there's a whole variety of additional pro programs that you could become an affiliate for that this would also work for, but I'm just going to show you this as an example. So what you want to do is go to Amazon.com. So let's just go over to Amazon dot com to become an affiliate so you're just gonna go to amazon dot com right now and what you're gonna choose right here is any of these categories right here so let's just look for something that we know is very popular and that people want to get and those would be things like let's say TVs people really want good TV systems so what I would also choose is best sellers so go to um, the category that you choose televisions and video and then select best sellers up here at the top best sellers and this is going to tell you the best sellers under television and video now if you want to see actually actual televisions and where they rank as far as the most popular televisions themselves then I would take a look at you know obviously you can niche this down and see best sellers for a variety of topics so this statistic here is updated you know about every hour and it really gives you some good indication as to the top TVs that people want and that people want to buy so I find here that the Panasonic Viera X1 series TV is very popular among people you know and so you can stand to make you know about four to six percent commission on televisions which is really good for this style of you know for for what Amazon is now Amazon does have a cap on certain higher end electronics you know so you might look for other products that maybe don't have a cap you know so you might consider digital cameras for example you might just look at straight electronics those are all always popular no matter what the time of year is and those in any time you can look at a store like Amazon and they can tell you what the best selling items are it's a really good indicator to you that that item is extremely popular so what I'm doing here is just browsing through and you want to look for things like you know for example here's the flip ultra HD camcorder very popular you know flip mini camcorder it's one of the top five electronics so this would tell you hmm, maybe I should become an affiliate for this product you know because a lot of people want this item obviously because it's a bestseller top five in electronics on Amazon you notice here something very interesting too amongst the entire electronics category you'll notice that in the top ten here I've ran across two GPS systems to Garmin Nuvi GPS systems nonetheless so that also would tell you that that's also extremely popular so you might consider setting up a site selling Garmin Nuvi GPS units you know that might be another idea for you so these are all just some ideas of ways you can cash in and as I scroll down here even through the top 20 I come across several Garmin Nuvi systems and I come across several different versions of the Apple Apple iPod and I've come across several different digital cameras so that kinda tells you some good ideas here that hmm, the Apple iPod Apple iPod products are very popular the um, Kindle within Amazon's popular that's the electronic reader um, digital cameras are popular GPS systems so these all give you some ideas of some potential systems that you could actually start up and that you could actually go with and some niches and, and focus areas so for this example you know obviously you can grab any of these as we go through the system now also alternatively another site that I want to draw your attention to that not a lot of people know about within Amazon is actually a site called endless.com so let me just go here real quick it's endless.com now this website looks totally different than Amazon but it actually is an Amazon.com property now the reason I'm recommending this product or this website in particular is because endless.com actually it sells a variety of you know accessories you know things like you know like expensive um, you know expensive glasses sunglasses different items like that and what's great about endless.com is for one it is an amazon.com property but the other reason I like this program is because they pay out at 15 percent on their affiliate commission so they will pay out at 15 
percent whereas these guys are paying out amazon which is still good will pay out between four and six percent they're going to pay out at fifteen percent for popular items as well now obviously endless.com isn't really selling electronics here but they are selling things like oakley sunglasses that are extremely huge and oakley sunglasses is what we're going to use for our example here as we set this whole system up so basically this is you know in a nutshell you can just browse through look for some items that you know are popular and that's what we're going to do in the next video is kind of show you how we do the niche research once we've settled on a direction we want to go I know that Oakley sunglasses are very popular so that's going to be kind of what I focus on here as we set this up and after we do this then we're going to go about setting up an amazon.com affiliate account and the product I am going to promote will be from endless.com just because of the commission structure you know but obviously the same rules will apply for whether you're promoting an amazon.com product or a product you found on endless.com because they're run through the same affiliate system so I'm going to set show you how to set that up also how to do the research on the product that you've chosen to promote for this next video what I'm going to do is show you the product that I've selected to promote so I'm going to go through here and I've decided to target in on Oakley sunglasses just because Oakley sunglasses there's a variety of Oakley sunglasses they are very popular and they are rather expensive as well which means a higher payout as an affiliate at 15 percent commission on let's say a hundred ninety five dollar pair of sunglasses you know you stand to make about thirty dollars a pair so that adds up pretty quickly for yourself so I would recommend that you go after that market so what I'm going to do here next is go right on over to Google and we're gonna do some quick keyword research so I'm gonna to go to Google and go to the AdWords keyword tool AdWords keyword tool and this is all important for this entire special system here so inside here what I'm going to do now is plug in the main product name that I'm going to be going after now this is going to be slightly different than other kind of research that you may be doing so you know it is just because we're promoting a different sector of products we're promoting a specific kind of physical type product so let's just type in here you know like Oakley and then put in these keywords or these characters here so Oakley is going to be where our keyword goes our main keyword that we're going to pull from so let's see here we've got a variety of different options here you've got everything from Oakley Juliet Oakley goggles Oakley polarized Oakley sunglasses just a whole list of different kinds of Oakley sunglasses now what I like to do is come over here to where it says global and do a search that way and then also come right over here to where it says match type and when I click on that that just sorts it from the most searched for to the least searched for and I'm going to choose phrase match because it's going to give us a better indication as to the popularity for example so as we go down here what we're looking for is just some you know some keyword phrases that might jump out as you know being keyword phrases that look like they could potentially have you know give us some traffic and different things like that so for example here's one 49,500 people in the local search area and then 74,000 every single month are looking for Oakley gas can Oakley gas can well when you click on this you're gonna see that right inside here of endless.com for example it looks like they actually have some Oakley gas can sunglasses so let me actually yep there's one right there there's a pair um, there's a variety of pair of Oakley gas can sunglasses now you could probably do a quick search you know and type in gas can just to see here what they have and yep there's several Oakley gas can sunglasses here and these are very popular sunglasses because look at that search volume compared to some of the others so you can see that that is very very popular right there Oakley gas can sunglasses so that would definitely be a good niche that you're gonna wanna go after so all I did there is I settled on something I was going to promote now let me show you if we were gonna do like a TV for example or another gadget like let's just say we're gonna do a Garmin Nuvi GPS just because they're so popular so I'd come right over here to the Google AdWords keyword tool again you can just go to Google type in AdWords keyword tool what I'm gonna plug in here then is the name of the product or at least the product manufacturer and the brand of that so Garmin Nuvi and I'm just gonna do a keyword search and see what we get back here 
So when I'm getting back here for Garmin Nuvi under Phrase Match, I'm finding that there is a lot of potential traffic here. We've got Garmin Nuvi 200, 246,000, Garmin Nuvi 200W. So all of these are potential niche markets within Garmin Nuvi. So you can see there is a lot of potential right here within the Garmin Nuvi niche. So it really kind of verifies it because you see them in the top sellers here. Plus, when you go to the Google AdWords keyword tool, you want to try to narrow down the most specific style of keyword phrase. Now, for this type of promotion, unlike you know when you're promoting ClickBank products where you want to find different keywords like weight loss and fitness and things like that, when you're promoting specific physical type products, your main keyword phrase research is already pretty much done for you. And basically, you know, right here, this is where your research is. Garmin Nuvi 260W, that's the model name and the name of that product. Flip Ultra HD Camcorder, 120 minutes. That's the name of that product. Canon EOS Rebel TLI, so that's the specific name of that product, and that's going to be the keyword phrase you would target throughout this entire campaign. So you can see that, you know, that's definitely going to be one of the best bets for you just because it's it's very convenient and those are going to be very targeted visitors apple ipod touch 32 gigabytes apple ipod touch 8 gigabytes you know so that really kind of helps tell you that you know these are the best best potential videos for you or excuse me keyword phrases to be going after is the name of the product and the reason you use the google keywords tool is if you're involved in something like endless.com or even panasonic for example you really want to get some ideas of panasonic tvs that might do well um, you want to look at different keyword phrases within garmin garmin nuvi that people want um, you know like garmin nuvi 260w that tells you right here that model of garmin nuvi is very popular so you might try to sell those products but you see here, Oakley, when I just typed in Oakley, I found gas can sunglasses as being one of the most popular phrases. Well, lo and behold, they sell several of them in this dot com. I can become an affiliate that pays out at $15 a pair. So you can see, or 15%. So it actually adds up rather quickly. So that's really where you go is that this phase, you want to really narrow down uh, what kind of product you're going to be promoting, what product you're going to promote, because this whole system is going to be centered around promoting one product, then going on to another product and promoting that hard, and then going on to another product and pushing that one hard. So you can see here how it can, you know, it's going to take a little bit of effort but as with anything it takes you know effort to actually make be successful online so you're gonna just need to focus in you need to look for the keyword phrase and kinda of determine the direction you're going to go so my direction is going to be Oakley gas can sunglasses that's what the whole entire focus is of this campaign remaining and so when we go into the next video I'm going to show you how to set up the amazon.com affiliate program so you can become an affiliate for Amazon and also endless.com at the same time in this step it's now time for you to become an affiliate for amazon.com so you can start promoting the physical products that are very popular for good profits so you need to go to amazon.com amazon.com and I recommend that you scroll clear to the bottom of the page so amazon.com and scroll all the way down so amazon.com scroll all the way down to where you see make money with us and then you want to click on join associates join associates and what you'll see on this page is basically kind of a tour of the Amazon affiliate program it talks about kind of what the program offers you uh, just kind of gives you some really good ideas as far as you know different ways you can promote things so um, what you need to do when you first get there is click on join now for free and then just put in your email address and then put you know that you're a new customer or if you are an existing customer you could put that in and then go on and sign in there as well so that's how you would sign in or you can just log in once you become an affiliate here so this is kind of an example account here okay so I'm logged in here to the amazon.com account um, this is what your brand new account would look like so what you see here is you know just some different a very nice clean simple layout within Amazon so you just need to make sure you go to join associates to become an affiliate for amazon.com so what you want to do then is at this point you should have settled on what product it is that you're going to promote 
So uh, we're going to come back to our Amazon affiliate site and actually go in here and I'm going to show you how to set up your links when we're ready for that process. But first we need to go actually to a next step which is to grab our domain name and then actually get our hosting account set up so that we can actually start moving forward with setting up a mini website for this campaign and then also work from there on just promoting and getting more traffic and getting as much traffic as possible for the specific products that we have decided to promote and push out there to the market. For this next video it's time for you to register your domain name. To do this I recommend that you use godaddy.com because it is very important that you have your own domain name with hosting. Now there are ways you can get around this but to really make this system work properly it's very much advised that you have your own domain and that you have your own hosting set up. So what you're going to do now is go to godaddy.com. Godaddy com. I highly recommend them. I think they, um, they're they a great company. They're reliable. They're fast. They're efficient. Sure, there's other website domain name companies out there. You can get your domains through them. That's not an issue. I'm just using this for this example. So what you do is you go right here to where it says start a domain name search. Start a domain name search. I recommend that whatever product it is that you've elected to promote, whether it's the Oakley gas can sunglasses for, for this particular example, or let's just say a certain brand of TV. Let's just go to Amazon.com and let's just grab a brand of TV. So let's just go to electronics here and TV and video. And then we'll just select best sellers. And let's just go to TVs, televisions right here. Okay, so let's just say, for example, that we've decided to promote this Panasonic uh, Viera X1 TV. So I would copy that. And you could plug that right in here to um, GoDaddy here. And just take out the spaces. Then hit go. You want to hit the orange go because that's going to, to show it. Now this shows you the Panasonic Viera X1 domain is already taken. So you might add Panasonic um, Viera X1 site.com for example. And you could just promote a whole line of these TVs because that seems to be a line of Panasonic TVs. So you could just promote those. You could also like, you know, for example, take this like Samsung, um, you know, PNO5 TV. And it really helps you if the keyword phrase or the product you're trying to go after is in the domain name. That's really going to give you the best benefit possible. Now, if you have any questions as to the legality of using the company's name within your uh, domain, it's best that you you know talk to somebody about it. But I've never really I've never run into any issues with this. And also, um, it's it's most advised that if you're going to do this, that you're just you know that you make sure that you very much are very aware of the rules and regulations the FTC guidelines and also make sure that you're very much aware of you know the fact that you put notices that you are not tied to the company that this is an affiliate site or something like that you know this is you are an affiliate promoting this product but you're not a Panasonic entity or something like that usually when you do that you're gonna be just fine I'm throwing that in there just because some people um, can get concerned about that so you might also try you know just some different options here just grab the keyword phrase that it is you're going after and just plug that in there so that's what I'm doing here is just plugging this data in here so Panasonic uh, Bravia V series that's a type of TV so we could put television and then hit go and it looks like Sony Bra Bravia V series television is available. So if that was a set of TVs you were going to be promoting, then there you go. That domain name is handy and available to get. And I find from my research and all the time I've been online that the most efficient you get is when your keyword phrase is found within the domain name when the keyword phrase it is that you're going after that, that really gets you excellent results now if you don't really want to do that don't very, feel very comfortable about going at, you know at it with the name of the product and such in the domain then I would recommend you do something like you know whatever it is you're going after like let's say it's the LCD TV niche for example or HD TV you could do something like you know go to GoDaddy type in LCD TV LCD HD TV and then hit go 
and that's probably going to be taken so you might find some other ideas here though they're also going to recommend you know that you look at some other options here so LCD TV now LCD TV today the LCD TV so there you have it so you, you can still accomplish this by having your own domain uh, but this time you know may not have the keyword phrase in there so um, but that's how you go about going through your domain that's the research part now when it comes time to register that domain what you're going to choose is just choose continue to registration continue to registration and you may need to at this point you may need to set up your account with GoDaddy so I recommend that you go here to create an account if you are brand new otherwise if you already do have a GoDaddy account I would recommend that you log in and you actually log into your account and then go about the process of registering that domain name again because sometimes they won't keep it in your shopping cart unless you're logged in uh, but once you're logged into your domain, I'm going to take you through that process here in just a moment. I'm going to log in and we're going to grab a domain. I'll take you through the process. Okay, so I now I just registered or, and logged into my GoDaddy account. So I've already actually had an account, so I'm now logged in here. And you're going to go right back here to domains and you just want to select register domains register domains and you're gonna be taken to a page that looks slightly different than the home page but still very similar what you want to do is put in you know the main keywords let's just use like that Sony Bravia example so let's just grab you know Sony Sony Bravia V series television and then Put the dot com. I recommend you go with the dot com or the dot net. If the dot com is taken, go with the dot net, but stay away from dot us and dot info domain names. Sony Bravia V Series Television dot com is available, so just choose add. And now in this next step, what you're going to do is come right over here and choose continue to registration. They make it really easy with these nice orange buttons. Now they're going to try to upsell you on these other domains. Um, go ahead and just choose no thanks on these. You only need one domain at this point. GoDaddy's very good about upselling, so that's really about the only downside with them. As far as registration length for this example, you really only need it for one year. I don't recommend you go much more than that. So you just need it for one year. Now scroll all the way down here and go down to where it says no thanks I'm ready to check out otherwise you're gonna be hit with offer after offer after offer the only thing in your shopping cart at this point should be your domain name it's very very important should be your domain name so now just hit continue okay so now this phase you've got here your domain and you've got the year and then you just choose your payment method so choose whatever it is whether it's a credit card whether it's a PayPal account and then you can just plug in that you've agreed to the terms of service and then just hit continue with checkout and on the next page you're going to be met with you know a form where you would fill out like your credit card information for example so let's just show you that example here so you can go in here just fill out your billing details your credit card number name on card expiration date all that data and then just hit place your order and that's going to go ahead and process your order for you so that's through the process of registering your domain and once you register you'll get a confirmation message telling you that your domain's been registered so you'll be able to access it and you're going to be able to find your domains inside your GoDaddy account under domains and then just select my domains domains and then select my domains to actually look at all the domain names that you have purchased in the past or in the present or the domain you just purchased if it's your brand new account so this is a list here of the domains so what I would recommend that you do now is that you go on to the next process after you've registered your domain try to make it a nice keyword rich domain name whether it's using just straight keywords or using the product names that you're promoting that's what I would recommend you do and then we'll go on to the next process which is going to be to choose and set up your hosting account and then we'll tie this domain name to whatever hosting account it is that you've set up so we can move forward with this process for this video I recommend that you set up your hosting account with a company called HostGator 
or Bluehost. HostGator and Bluehost are very reliable website hosting companies and you must have your website hosted somewhere. Now if you already have your hosting set up you can just skip this step but if you do not this step is very important to you. So once you've purchased your domain name through GoDaddy or Namecheap or any variety of websites that sell domains I recommend GoDaddy then you need to come to a site called HostGator.com or you can go to Bluehost.com both of these websites have a very, very clean, easy to use, friendly interface, very simple uh, to work and navigate and use. So I highly recommend you look at either one of these. They're very cost effective, extremely reliable, 24-7 customer support. So if your websites go down at 2 a.m., you can still pick up the phone and call them. If you have questions for them, you can call them as well. When you go to HostGator.com, I recommend that you choose Learn More and what you're going to see here is an option for a hatchling package a baby package or a business package so I recommend you go with the baby package because that gives you unlimited hosting as far as unlimited space unlimited bandwidth and even unlimited you know domains could be hosted so you could have multiple websites within the baby package now that package will run you nine dollars ninety five cents a month Right here it says $7.95, but that's if you pay for three years all at once. But I recommend that you just go with the $9.95 a month option. It's really all you need. And just go ahead and choose Order Now. Where it says Select a Domain, you can choose Register New Domain, but at this point you should have already registered your domain. So choose I will use my existing domain and update my name servers only, and I'll show you how to do that. So for this example, we're just going to put in a sample domain here and just choose next and then on this very next page it's going to have like um, your coupon code so you can choose the billing cycle you want to go with whether it's six months yearly or if it's one monthly payment of 995 so you can choose whichever billing cycle you want to go with and then simply choose calculate totals calculate totals So there you have it. It's going to give you like a 20% off coupon. Different times of the year they have different coupon codes. So it kind of varies, you know, as to the discount you get. This one's $1.99. So your first month is only going to be $7.96. And then after that, you know, it's going to just charge you $9.95 per month every single month thereafter. So um, it's a really good hosting package for that price. Now you could choose, you know, if you want to go yearly to kind of maximize your discount there. You notice that as you upgrade to like a yearly package, it actually knocks off your yearly amount, clear down to only $95.92. So it actually basically takes your cost with this 20% discount to only uh, $95.52. If you divided that by 12, it'd come out to be about seven something a month. So for about seven something a month, all at once, you can get HostGator. Um, unlimited baby package so that's something else for you to consider is if you're gonna set it up that way you could do that so where you're gonna just bill yearly but monthly is fine as well if you're just setting up if you really want to maximize that discount you might go with the yearly option just to really make sure you maximize that so now after that just choose calculate totals and then it's going to take you through a process here and you can put I'm a new customer and then what you're going to do next is just put in your first name, your last name, your address, your city, your state, your primary email, phone number, your username. Make sure you remember these things. Username and password, extremely important. Choose your payment option, whether it's going to be through PayPal or with a credit card. And then go ahead and choose submit information and then select verify my order and then your order will be complete. So that's how you go through that process. So that's the HostGator setup process for you. It's very easy, very simple for you to use. And you can see here they're extremely reliable. They've been hosting over 2, mil 2 million domain names at this current time. So HostGator is a great option to use. Bluehost, you set it up very similar. You just choose sign up now and then you go through the same steps that you would as if you were with HostGator. They have a really good yearly option and um, they have very very good yearly option for their domain names so um, those are just some ideas here for you to consider as far as your hosting goes so we'll go on to the next video which will show you how to tie the domain name that you just purchased to your hosting account that you just set up 
In this next very important step, I'm going to show you step by step how to tie your domain name to your hosting account. And for this to work, you need to go to GoDaddy.com or wherever you have registered your domain. For this example, we are using GoDaddy.com. So what you need to do now is go right on over to your hosting account and actually get some information from them first before you go to GoDaddy. So what you want to do here is go to uh, your hosting account and ask for your name servers or DNS information. Typically you will find this in the frequently asked questions set section. You might find this in the back end of your hosting account when you log in using the username and password that you set up. And if you can't find it and you have selected HostGator or Paluhost, they have 24 hour support. Other hosting companies might be able to help you out pretty fast as well. So you just need to get in touch with them and find out what it is you know what the name servers are they're always going to look like this it's gonna have start with NS and there's always going to be two of them they may not all say NS1 and NS2 one might say NS and then have several numbers another one might say NS then have several other numbers as well but you're always going to have two of them so for this example I have chosen Bluehost for my hosting account so these are going to be my name servers because those are true Bluehost name servers now these for a host gator more than likely are going to be different and so you need to make sure you know what your name servers are or this step will not work but this step is vital to getting your website live so what you need to do now is go right on over to godaddy.com log into your account go to domains and select my domains my domains and if you have multiple domain names you just need to scroll down to find the domain that you're working from otherwise if it's your first domain it should be right at the top and they do alphabetize it if that makes it easier on you so I'm going to just go to the domain name I want to choose put the checkbox in there select name servers and then what I'm going to do is by default they will say I host my domain with another provider make sure that is checked and then you're going to put in the name servers that you are going to be using and just type in NS1 or whatever the name server information is and it doesn't matter if you type it in a lowercase or uppercase it will change it accordingly then you choose OK and it says your changes have been submitted so go ahead and select OK and your name servers are actually all completed now so what you're gonna do next is go right on over to the next section next step of this process and that's to go right on over to your hosting company so you can either go to HostGator or Bluehost whoever you set up an account with and if you're with HostGator typically it's going to be the domain name you set up forward slash cpanel if you're with Bluehost you'll just go to the front end and sign in which that's the example I'm giving you here so I'm just gonna log in to my Bluehost account here it'll take just a moment and both HostGator and Bluehost use what's called cPanel which makes life much easier on the back end when you're trying to do things you don't need to know what everything means back here but for the most part there's just a few main areas you want to understand and that's just what we're gonna cover here you want to go to domains because you now need to tie the domain name to your hosting account and if you were using HostGator you may not need to do this step it depends on how the hosting company does it but you need to make sure that you get the right name servers with your domain so I go to go domains choose add-on domains domains and select add-on domains now you're going to choose the domain that may not be associated with your account yet just type in that information if you set up your name servers correctly it's going to tell you the name servers were verified so you're just going to make sure add-on domain is chosen scroll down to where it says create new directory and it's always going to make the main domain a subdomain and that's okay so choose add domain some major hosting companies like Bluehost 
are now starting to use a service called Simple Scripts to install your WordPress website. Now for this video, if you've already installed it using Fantastico, like we already showed you, which is the most common right now, then you can just skip this video. But if you have not installed it because you could not use Fantastico, then this will show you how to use a service called Simple Scripts. You're going to log into your control panel area just the same, and you're going to scroll down to where it says Software and Services, and you're going to look for something that says Simple Scripts. Simple Scripts, it'll be like a blue logo with two carrots going left and right. And what you're going to choose here is you just want to go up here and you want to just set up your website. You just, so you just want to go to Blogs and you want to go to WordPress and then you just want to choose Install. And then what you want to do is you want to choose the domain that it's in. So typically it'll be the main one that, that you've selected. So just plug that in there make sure that it's set at www. as far as advanced options go choose click here to display it'll say please give your new site a name so go ahead and call it the name of the product just like in the last video again this step is something you only need to do if you did not install it in the last step because you did not have Fantastico as far as your username and password you want to make sure you put one in that you will remember then choose automatically create new database after you've read the terms and condition of that license click that then simply choose complete and it's going to take just a moment to install here it'll tell you even the status as it goes it's very similar to the other one though and once it's completed it will let you log in and access it just like with Fantastico. So notice how it installed it just the same. So there you have it. There's the website again using simple scripts. So now in the next videos, we're going to go through the process showing you how to set this up, how to set up your WordPress site, how to optimize it so you can actually maximize your earnings potential with this new website venture. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up WordPress and install it on your website using Fantastico which comes pre-installed on most hosting companies. If you're going to use HostGator which is recommended here then what you would do is just log into your HostGator cPanel or control panel as it's called. They will help you get this information. If for some reason you cannot find this in your email give them a phone call. Their phone number is right on their website at HostGator Dot com. They have 24-7 support, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Typically, you can reach them. So go ahead and call them, find out how to access that. Typically, it's going to be the main website domain that you've registered with a forward slash and then cPanel. It's usually what it's going to be. So what you're going to do is log into your cPanel, and it's going to look like this, or at least somewhat similar. So what you're going to do is scroll down to where it says Software and Services, and you want to choose Fantastico deluxe fantastico deluxe after that what you want to do is go to blogs on the left hand side and select wordpress then after that you want to choose new installation and then you would just want to choose your domain which typically it's going to be the main domain but maybe something else so choose your domain and install in directory just leave that blank because that's going to install it in the main folder as far as admin access goes, you want to just choose admin. Then for password, put in a password that you want to use. Admin nickname, I usually just keep that at admin, or you could use your name. The email, we're just, you know, this will be an email that is, you know, people can access you at, just your, your basic email. Your site name, this is where I'd put in the name of the product it is that you are promoting. So let me just plug that in here. And you could add blog to the end of that and you can always come back in and change this part. Then just simply choose install WordPress. After that it's going to ask you in step two of three it's going to tell you that a MySQL database is going to be created then that's okay so you just want to choose finish installation and there you have it 
your website is actually now set up. So it's going to tell you the full area where you can go to actually log in and it's going to give you username and the password that you've selected. So you can just click on that and you can see that in literally minutes I've now installed WordPress on this site. So I've now completely installed WordPress on here. There it is. So now we're going to go to the next step of the process which is to work on configuring the website so we're ready to move on to the next phases which is going to put money in your pocket with this system. For this next video I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your WordPress website after you've actually done the installation of it. So I'm going to show you how to optimize it using plugins and other ways to make your site search engine friendly so you can maximize the targeted traffic that you receive. This step is extremely important to the overall success of the campaign. So to make this work you need to go to your main website so the domain name that you purchased and that you've installed WordPress on and you'll use forward slash WP dash admin WP dash admin so go ahead and put that into your address bar or it will be the same link that you actually got after you installed your WordPress website automatically using one of the tools we talked about in the previous videos so what you're gonna do now is just plug in your username and your password that you use to set this up so that's what I'm going to do here is just plug in this information and it'll take just a moment okay and once you're logged in you can actually go and it will first ask you if you want to you know change your password and or you could choose no thanks but you can also do this at a later time but sometimes you know if you decide you want to change your password this would be a spot to otherwise if you entered it yourself just choose no thanks and that will be just fine so what what we want to do here is we want to make this website more search engine friendly so to do this we need to do a couple of things the first thing you want to do is you want to set up what's called the permalinks so on the left hand side here over dashboard you want to choose settings. Now what you want to choose inside settings here is you're going to notice it's going to tell you blog title and it's going to tell you the tagline so that's the first thing you want to take out is take out that tagline make sure that your domain is in here with the www that's great put in your main you know an email address that you would check often then you can get notified when activity happens uh, right here you can choose your time zone and then right over here in this next step you could choose how you want the date to post so all these will be just fine and then hit save changes the next thing that I would do is come right down here on the left hand side under settings and you want to look for something called permalinks permalinks inside permalinks you want to make sure that custom structure is the option you choose and you want to set it up so it looks like this custom structure you want to do forward slash percentage sign post name percentage sign forward slash that's gonna make sure every single one of your posts includes the actual name of the post in your link so it's going to look very search engine friendly after you do that you just want to select save changes save changes now you would again again go right back here to general and under the blog title you do want to make sure that it has your main keyword phrase and then something like blog or you know review site or just the name of the of the product or keyword phrase you're really targeting so in this case this is product fit specific so you really want to use like the name of the product because that's going to help you maximize that traffic so Oakley gas can sunglasses that would be a good one to use so then come right down here again and choose save changes so now what I'm going to do next is go ahead to the next process which is to install some domain names so that you can actually make this system work for you. So what I like to do is go right on over and choose, or excuse me, install some plugins. On the left hand side you want to choose plugins and you want to select add new, add new. So here's a few plugins that I recommend that you go ahead and use. The first one is called all in one SEO. So you just type into the search term box all in one SEO. And then you can go ahead and choose install. And then what you're going to do now 
is go ahead and choose install now and it's going to say downloading and then it says unpacking then it will say installing the plugin usually it's gonna go just like this if you're using Bluehost or HostGator some of the other hosts that you might be using may make you manually install it uh, but there are video tutorials that show you how to do that but this one um, as far as Bluehost HostGator they're really good about letting you actually automatically install it uh, straight from the domain or straight from the back end here then you want to choose activate plugin So now that that's activated, you want to go down to the Hello Dolly plugin, and I recommend that you just delete that one. And then there's going to be another plugin here called a Keysmet or a Keysmet or a Kismet, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So just choose Activate. But what you need to do here to make this work is you must enter a WordPress.com API key. So in order to do this, you need to actually just click on this, and I like to just open that in a new tab, and they will give you some instructions on how to do that. So you want to come over here and choose Get Your Key. So I'll just open that in a new tab. And this is actually set up to make your blog run much more efficiently. So to grab your key, you do need to just log into your WordPress.com account, and if you are brand new, you can just choose Sign Up and then they will actually take you through the process so let me just plug in you know kind of a sample here you could put in your website name if you want and then choose an email address and then choose I've read the terms after you've read them and then you could put just a username then choose next Oop, looks like I'm already using that email okay so I went ahead and uh, plugged in my email address that I'm going to use so that's what I've done and then it's going to make me activate my account so that will take just a moment okay so I got an email here to activate it so after that you just click on that link and then what you're going to do now is come right back over here and you need to actually log into your account so that's what I'm going to do here is just log into my account okay so this is now set up so now what you need to do is come up to where it says my account choose global dashboard inside global dashboard you want to choose profile once you're inside profile it's going to give you your wordpress.com API key so you just want to copy this code oops you just want to copy that again and you want to come right over here to where it says a Keysmet configuration and paste that in there and then go ahead and select update options okay the options have been saved so you can close that tab and go ahead and log out of your wordpress.com area and then go back to where it says plugins over here on the left hand side and then the Akismet is going to be activated now. So that plugin is important because it really will eliminate a lot of spam comments that you run into, so it'll make you run this more efficiently. So all in one SEO, Akismet, and the other couple of plugins that I recommend you use are the following. Just go to plugins, choose add new, and then go ahead and choose social bookmarker. Okay, so I just did a search for social bookmarker, and this plugin here called Social Bookmarks, you can actually click on it to take a look at it.
will be what you want to look for. So it's going to just be called Social Bookmarks. You can just choose Install. And then go ahead and select Install Now. Now what you want to do is go back to where it says Plugins. And you'll see right there where it says it's been set up. And then the other plugin that you want to install is a Twitter type plugin. So just type in Twitter. And you want to go ahead and choose tweet this as the plugin. So go ahead and type in tweet this and that'll be the plugin you want to choose. Then choose install. And then after that, go ahead and choose install now. And then after that, you're going to go over to where it says settings. And under the settings area, you'll choose all-in-one SEO. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and log in or actually go over here to where it says plugin status and choose enabled and for the home title you want to put in the main title of your site which is going to be your main keyword phrase so Oakley gas can sunglasses review you know Xbox 360 system whatever keyword phrase it is you're going for for your product under description you want to put in a good sentence or two descriptions so by Oakley gas can sunglasses today and save this holiday or this year you don't want to say holiday season because that could eliminate you the rest of the year and then put keywords go ahead and put those in which would be your main keyword phrase and then everything else could stay the same you could sometimes what I like to do here is actually take out blog title from post and page title so then that way it'll just be whatever it is you know that you've elected to choose there everything else will be just fine then choose update options okay so that part will be complete now you just want to go over choose visit the site and you can kinda of see how it's coming together here okay so that is now how you go ahead and install your plugins so all-in-one SEO is really an important one that you need and then the other plugins will really help you as well because it's important to have like your social bookmarking plugins uh, but the most important ones to really think about would be the uh, all-in-one SEO and then social bookmarks and tweet this those are more optional but those also will really help you and then a keys mat will really make your life much much easier so that's how you go about installing plugins how you go about making your site more search engine friendly how you set it up so that you can actually maximize your traffic with your wordpress website so we're going to go on to the next step of the process which will be going about and selecting a theme for your site so you can actually get the ball rolling by default WordPress gives you a basic theme here so I'm going to show you how to go about changing that theme so it looks a little more professional and so it actually sets you apart from some of the other websites out there so what you want to do is come right over here to log into your dashboard and you just want to choose appearance you just want to choose appearance from the left hand side you want to come down and choose add new themes add new themes and what I recommend you do is that you I usually go by colors black blue those tend to be professional looking you could also choose silver and then actually just do a quick search here for themes that match that color so go ahead and just choose find themes and you're gonna find here some possible themes to consider so if you see a theme that you might like just simply choose preview and if that theme looks pretty good to you just go ahead and come over here and choose that little X and then you can actually just come right up here and choose install and then go ahead and select install now and now you can come right back to your website refresh it or actually choose activate I apologize after you install it go ahead and choose activate and then come over to your website so after you've activated it 
then come over to your website and you'll notice it completely changes the look and feel of your site. Now you can go back and do this, you know, for several different, you know, color options. You could do searches for one or two column sites over here. It's really going to be up to you. Two column sites are usually what you want to go with because it gives you some good options as well to go with. Um, so then just look for, I'm just going to look for another one that looks pretty clean and that looks like it'll work. Here's one that looks well. If I go ahead and choose preview, that theme comes out nicely. So you can go ahead and then just choose install. Click install now. And if you do want to activate that theme, just click activate right here. And then come right over here and refresh your website. And notice how that changed the look and feel one more time. And if you want to go back to change the theme in the future, just go under appearance and themes and then actually just click on activate and it would reactivate the theme. And you can always come in and change the theme, but I recommend that you spend a little bit of time, but don't spend piles of time on this process. Notice how it just took me just a few minutes to actually find a few really good themes. But you don't want to spend all your time on this step just because you you know it can get you caught up in you know and most important part is that you're focusing on making money with this system. So we're going to go on to the next step, which will be some ways you can use to actually start cashing in more with this system. In this next video, we're now at the spot where we need to grab our Amazon.com affiliate link for some of the products we're going to be promoting. So what I recommend you do is go to Amazon.com and then just scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to look for under make money with us join associates and I recommend that just because it's the easiest way to find it if in case you've lost the affiliate address for Amazon Amazon you can alternatively go to their affiliate program by going to affiliate dash program dot amazon dot com again that's affiliate dash program dot amazon dot com or you can just go to amazon dot com and then click on join associates so I'm just going to log in here to this account we're using for this system. And what I recommend you do is that you come right on over and you go to links and banners. Links and banners. And what you're going to do from this area is you just want to choose product links. So I would go ahead and choose add product links now. And then where it says search all products what I would recommend you do is just type in the name of the product it is that you're promoting. You could also, if depending on where you're promoting your product from, if you're doing it from all products, you can just choose all products. Or if you're doing a product specific to endless.com, which is what I, I'm actually using because it's 15% commissions, then you could just choose search endless.com. So I'm going to type in the name of the product that I'm promoting, gas can sunglasses. And here's going to bring up a variety. There's several different Oakley gas can sunglasses. So I'm going to be promoting all of these sunglasses, but I'm just going to choose one for this first example. So what I recommend you do, we're just going to select, let's just say this one. Uh, that looks good, this, this black one here. And what you want to choose next to the product you want to be promoting is go ahead and select Get Link. Get Link. Then it's going to give you several different options as far as choosing your link and how that goes. It's going to ask for a text and image, image only, or it's going to say text only. So I recommend you grab all of them, just, you know, or at least say you grab several, you know, at least you try to grab a couple of them because that's going to work well into your post. So I would highly recommend that you at least go. Um, you know, go try to go for like an image link and a text link at least, uh, just because it's going to make your life that much easier when you're going for it. Also, this text and image option looks good, uh, but with the image only, you actually have a little more flexibility. So it's going to just kind of be up to you on how you want to do that. You could actually choose this link, you know, to show a border or to not show a border, so that comes out a little nicer. You could choose to use a larger image of the product, would actually also help some. And then you could select open link in a new window or not open in a new window, depending on how you want to do that. So for now, we're going to grab this text and image link. All you do is just click on highlight HTML, right click and choose copy. And then I like to open up, you know, like a notepad file all the time. So I'm just going to come down here and paste that in here. And we're going to call this text and image 
And it's good to just, you know, separate so you understand which is which. This is going to be called just text. So you're going to come right over here to where it says text only. And you just want to highlight that and grab that one. And then the next one you just want to choose is image. And we'll go into detail when we actually make the post on how to go about you know and set these up so just wanted to show you though how to go about grabbing your links I recommend that you try to grab all three um, the image links will be good text and image links are also good sometimes with without the border it actually can go a little more in line with your post so it doesn't look you know as salesy potentially to people plus you know it may not you with the price there that may deter people sometimes so it might be best to kinda just choose you know I like text only for that reason just because it doesn't show the price and then image only because that also doesn't show the price but it shows the product well so and people are used to clicking on images now so again to take you through the process one more time when you first log in just choose on links and banners and if you want to select you know just select product links that's what I recommend you do that's the easiest and you will just want to go for all products and you can search for whatever product you're promoting so I'm going to show one more example here just hit go and there it is so there's Xbox 360 system and then you could select get link and then you could actually again select from your different images here text and image, image only, text only so it gives you a variety of different options as well so that's what I recommend you do as far as grabbing that is that you know you go ahead and just grab that link grab that link by going to links and banners and that will make your life much much easier as far as promoting this just links and banners product links and then just do a simple search for what it is you have to offer and then I recommend you grab the links put them into a notepad file like this and that you label them and if you are going to use notepad though make sure that if you have word wrap on before you use the link that you take word wrap off and we'll go over that in the next step which is going to be how we create this post how do we work this into our blog and then after that we're going to go on to promoting our site a little bit so you can start getting some quick traffic and make the system work for you okay so for this video I'm going to show you how to go about and make your first money post meaning the post that's going to have your affiliate link just gonna send people to your offer which is how you're going to make money so you need to log into your WordPress administration section same way you logged in to set up the site make it more search engine friendly and also to add your themes and plugins and all that so you need to just log into the dashboard this time you want to select post on the left hand side and you're just gonna take out this first post called hello world just go ahead and hit delete and then the next thing you want to do is go to add new post and then add new after you've deleted that now as far as your new post goes it's best that you title your post the main keyword phrase you're trying to go after so for this example let's just say Oakley gas can sunglasses and you could put on sale or for sale whatever you want to do to that I usually just you know put in the name of the product there now right here where it says text this is great because this is just basic you know like typing this is just like typing into a word document and email very very easy for you if you're especially if you're brand new uh, but many of you probably know already how to use WordPress you're just gonna create a short post that kinda you know highlights the product that you're out there actually promoting so to come up with some ideas for your post I like to go visit the product itself and actually just you know kinda look at the product and work up kind of a short little post and we're talking like two or three sentences for this example does not need to be overly huge just enough to get you know enough to be interesting but enough to get people you know just because the main goal here is to get them to click on that link and go right to your offer and typically when they're looking for a product specific thing they don't need much prompting from you because when they're typing in you know Oakley gas can sunglasses there's a really good chance they've already researched that product for example and they know that's the kind of sunglasses they want you know so if they're, they're typing in Oakley men's gas can polarized sunglasses for that product for example they know exactly what they want and you know for this example here I'm promoting a variety of Oakley there's several Oakley gas can sunglasses so for this post you would probably you would use like kinda like what that is if that was your example you know if it was like Xbox 360 video games for example 
every single one of your posts would be a different video game you know as an example if they're different categories otherwise if it's like the Nintendo Wii unit and that's all your site's about then that would be what your first post is about so that's what I'm going to use here for this first one is just kind of you know just for an example Oakley men's gas can polarized sunglasses and you could just plug that in there up there. After you've set up your website and made your first post, it's now time to promote your offer. And to do that, you're going to use social bookmarking. Social bookmarking is where basically you tell other websites, other people out there about your website. It's kind of a social interaction. But what's very beneficial about social bookmarking is that your social bookmarking pages themselves, like the dig.com post you do, mix.com, the different posts that you do, oftentimes can rank highly in the search engines. So this is a great way to kickstart your campaign. Also, it can benefit you from some of the social bookmarking sites because they will help give you a backlink to your website which can help make sure your website gets indexed and gets found within the search engines. Now you've already set up your website so it's search engine friendly and also if you purchase your domain you know correctly and also since you're using WordPress for this example your site typically will get indexed by Google you know within about a week or so but this bookmarking will help expedite that process speed it up and it's also going to help you possibly get some more exposure which in turn leads to more traffic over the course um, that this is out there so let's just jump right in here what you're gonna do is the two main sites I recommend you go to first is dig.com dig.com now even though dig.com doesn't necessarily send a direct you know link to your site that may be found by the search engines the pages on dig.com still stand out very very well so when it's your first time to dig.com just go to join dig right here join dig at the top and then put in your username and password and your other basic information otherwise if you're brand new you can just or if you already have an account you can just log in so I'm just gonna log into an account here that I have now what you're gonna do is go up here to the top and click on submit new once you do that it's gonna say enter the URL so you want to grab the link to your site that you're promoting
Now you're going to select news article since it's just your main website. Go ahead and hit continue. After that it's going to give you a title possibly. Typically it will pull from the title that you already have for your site. So in this case that's the correct one because that's the product title. So your specific when you're doing your dig would be the product keyword phrase that you're going after for this example. Now what you're going to do is come right down here and choose the best category. So I'm just going to choose the best category. So let's just look through here real quick. This one probably people or odd stuff that would probably be a good category. And then you'll scroll all the way down here and where it says are you human just go ahead and put in this data. And then hit submit story. And once it's submitted, you should see a page that looks just like this. Now this page on dig.com that you're looking at right here can get indexed in the search engines. And if you were to click right here, it should take people right on through to your mini website that you are establishing and setting up for this particular example. So there you have it. That does work. That takes people right to the site. So now we'll go right on over to mix.com. Mix.com is very, very good because it also can help you get a backlink and more exposure. And their pages also rank well within Google. So just go to mix.com. You sign up for this example. Once you selected sign up, you're just going to put in your email, your password, basic information again, and then register. Once you have your account, just click on login and what I'm gonna do here is just log in here and I'll take just a moment so what you're gonna do is go right up here and choose submit link you're gonna look for something that says submit story submit link submit content all of them will say something similar so for page URL you wanna grab the link of your website again so let's just put that in here and then choose just story and hit continue now what you're gonna do for title is just make sure that's correct that should begin be your product specific keyword phrase and for the description just you know use a nice descriptive text there and I'm gonna choose let's see here probably fun category if they have shopping nope let's see life let's just look for the best category here so you just want to narrow down the best category possible that you're trying to look for probably go under fun would be a good topic fun and then possibly odd news and then as far as tags describing your story I'd recommend you use tags related to your product so Oakley sunglasses gas can sunglasses so all the products you know Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii Fit, Wii Fit we all those kind of keywords if that was the product you're going after Xbox 360 you get the idea but you want to go after these product specific keyword phrases now simply hit submit and you're almost done here and actually this will be the page where it's actually going to be completed so it'll take just a moment it gives you 15 minutes to go back in about and re change this and edit it if you want so I recommend you click on that just to make sure your link is working and it appears to be so everything looks good there so we can go on to the next one so that's mix.com for you so now we'll go on to another set of websites that you can leverage I recommend here that you go to socialmarker.com socialmarker.com and you're gonna see on socialmarker.com a whole list of social bookmarking websites now what I would do if I were you is just choose like best option and then go ahead and just submit to these top social bookmarking websites that show up and then after you've submitted to them these are the more popular ones go ahead and choose do follow because those will be search engine friendly so they'll help build a backlink and then go ahead and submit to those like Mr. Dash Wong that's a great one and to get to those sites you just click on that little logo any of their logos it will take you right into their websites set up the accounts just like I showed you and then you submit the links just like I showed you just make sure the keywords is your product specific 
very product specific it's extremely important that you do that and that's what really what the focus is and that's going to help you generate more exposure more backlinks and possibly get your site ranked higher and indexed in the search engine so you can start getting more traffic for the system and start making money so we'll go on to another promotional strategy that you can start using right away as well in this next video I'm going to show you another promotional strategy to start getting more traffic to this website once you set it up so what you're going to do is write a press release. I really like using press releases to get fast traffic, especially when you've just launched a website. So what I'm going to do is lay out the strategy and system that I use to submit and write a press release, actually. You're going to notice here the name product that I'm promoting is the Oakley Gas Can Sunglasses, as you know. So you want to write a press release talking about a review site that you just launched or something about the website that you just launched. So for example, you want to make sure you title the press release. Your press release needs a title, as you can see right here. And this template is going to be available to you, so you'll actually be able to actually read it and actually see how I structured things, how I worded things, and where I placed you know different things. So what I would recommend you do, you want a good keyword rich title for your, you know, for your press release. And then you want to put in your business name and kind of put in what you do, which is an internet marketing company based out of and then like your state or your country. Um, then do something, you know, that you've announced that you're launching a new review website that features. And then you could put the name of the product in here and then you could actually set a link to your website and then put a quote in here you know so basically a quote from you as a person so there's my quote the goal of this website is to give interested customers a convenience and then I go on to detail um, and then also it's very important if you, especially if you're going after something you know, like a product related that you try to at least say that you're not affiliated with the main company that um, I'm no lawyer um, but that may end up you know that'll help basically if they end up seeing that so you don't want anybody to think that you know you're part of that company because you're just an affiliate obviously so you want to make sure you're upfront about that stuff um, you can put in just some other details of the product like I chose to put in you know the price range I could have put in you know like how many products are in the in the Oakley gas can sunglasses line I followed up with a few more quotes and then also, um, you know, put in another detail like the items could be shipped for free, you know, just because that's the affiliate program. Especially if you're with Amazon, most of the items within Amazon can be shipped for free if they're over, I think it's $35, um, up to $50, it usually ships for free. So that would be another incentive to make sure you tell people about in your offers. And then at the end, just make sure that you close it out with the actual link. So once you've structured this press release, again, this will be available for you in Word document format so you can actually understand the process. What you want to do then is actually take this press release and you want to copy it, so copy all the information to a notepad file. So just grab it, copy it to a notepad file. So that's what I'm going to do here. Then you want to choose Format, Word Wrap. You want to make Word Wrap on next thing you want to do is just go through here and actually just once word wrap is on every single one of these lines you just want to understand that this is going to be a new paragraph so you want to make sure that you have this down because this is important because it's going to help you as you do this next process which is to submit your press release so make sure that you have your title as well laid out and it's also important that you have a summary ready to go as well which I'll show you how to write that so you have the title of your press release you want to have a summary basically the summary would just talk about what your offer is so um, a new review website is launching for the Oakley gas can sunglasses line so basically you could just insert that with your own product and keyword phrases then keywords would be keywords related to the products would be the product manufacturer uh, maybe the product line name maybe the product itself so those would be kind of keyword ideas and sometimes they're called tags within these sites as well so what you need to do next is go right on over to um, go actually go right on over to a site called free-press-release.com just like you see on your screen free dash will go in there press dash release.com when you first go there you're just gonna click on register and once you've registered just put in your username password and then your email address so what you want to do next is come right over here and you want to click on login after you've registered so go ahead and just log in here which is what we're going to do for this example 
what you do next is go ahead and click submit a press release and then there's several options here you could choose a premier press release this is one that I highly recommend because it's for one dollar you can actually get a backlink to your site which will really help you and help increase click-throughs because what I found is that free you know this free press release site free dash press dash release dot com actually shows up quite well within the search engines for your main keyword phrase oftentimes most of the time so I highly recommend you try to at least get a link when you first are doing this though you can do the free option because you'll at least get ranked and then you could actually decide if you see your press release rank to upgrade for the dollar um, but I usually do that when you first do it though you need to be willing and ready to invest twenty dollars I think I believe it is now to fund your account so you just need to make sure that that will happen when you first do it but then you know obviously you're going to be creating probably tons of these sites so it's going to be completely up to you but um, if that's going to bother you just go with the free option because it can also give you some exposure so go ahead and just click next now what you want to do is put in your unique title here so I'm going to just pull up this notepad file we have so this is my title make sure again that you have your main keyword phrase which is your product name in the title then you've got a summary here they're asking for and this is why I like to write it out because it just makes this process much much smoother oops that was not good so let's go back and log back in here do you want to log in and click submit press release and then choose the option so premier press release and then click on next okay and then put in your title so I'm putting in my summary here and then we're gonna grab the title and again this is why it's good to put it into like a text based file and then for the news body this is where the body of your press release goes make sure word wrap is still set to off you can do that by going to format and word wrap I'm doing this within notepad um, many computers have a text editor of some sort whether it's an Apple or a PC then you can just paste that in there the next thing you want to do it'll ask you to read the numbers so go ahead and do that and then as far as your tags go just click on that arrow and then copy and paste your main keyword tag so notice how easy that was because I'd previously put those in So you're just gonna paste that now if you selected the paid option it's going to ask for your website so you're gonna wanna make sure you put in your website because it's going to give you a link and then you could attach an image if you wanted to you don't have to industry this would be best to kind of choose the industry this will go in um, oftentimes for these examples it would go under probably lifestyle and shopping of some sort if that's where they have it they may or may not have that so you just want to pick the very best category for this particular item so we'll just scroll through here and look for the best one uh, sometimes industry is good so we'll just go under industry and then let's see apparel because it does go on your face and then go ahead and choose contact and just put in your main contact details and then for your website you're just gonna go ahead and just plug that you don't have to plug in your website again but you could if you wanted to you could put your address um, or just put in like your phone number for people to get you whichever one you want to do and then go ahead and come right down here and choose submit and it'll ask if you're going to be charged if you're doing the free option obviously it will not ask what I like best about these guys is as soon as you submit it you get instant gratification because your press release goes live just like with the social bookmarking as well this is why I like it for a fast traffic method and there you have a perfectly optimized press release with your main keyword phrases there's a backlink right down there that takes them right in into your website it's always good to test that link to make sure that is indeed working and it looks like it is so that's excellent so now you can go on to the next step which is to go to another free press release site that I love to use called PRlog.org PRlog.org so let's just go over here PRlog.org and again when you first get here just set up an account um, you just go to submit press release and then it's going to basically ask you to create a PR account 
and just go through the basic details there. So I'm going to log in because I am an existing user. This part will take just a moment. Choose Add New. Now what I'm going to do here is insert my press release headline one more time. So I'll just show you that process again. It's just highlighting this and then copying and pasting it. You can hit Control C or you could right click and choose copy, whichever option you like. So you're just going to paste that in there. Grab your summary. This is why it's so important that you pre-write your summary and your title and your keyword just because it makes life so much easier as you're going through this process. Put in the press release body here. then scroll on down and choose your best category so all the categories will be different this one is going to be shopping make sure you select add and then maybe you could select you know fashion for example and you could put the name of your company or like your website is another example Oakley gas can sunglasses dot com put in your contact email and then come right down here to where it says tags or keywords this is where you're going to plug that in here then you could put in a company profile if you wanted to and and then you could choose an image you can just browse if it's you know reasonable obviously you don't want to use a copyrighted image image so usually you can just skip that make sure as soon as possible is checked and all these optional categories you could put in so you don't need to and then go ahead and choose go to final step okay so this step is optional so let's just skip that and you can just for you know speed sake just speed that up and just skip the optional steps now this will tell you see how you like the press release basically um, if your links are not live like my links were not live here you could go back in and modify that press release to make sure they are live so let's just do that so I'll scroll back down here and you can make them live by putting HTTP in front of them usually and that will be enough to get your links live so then choose go to final step and notice now my links are live which is what you want because that's going to increase your click through and then go all the way down to the very bottom and click on submit and now your press release has been published you can click on view this press release and you'll notice that your press release now shows up and if you were to click on that link it should take people right on over to your website and it looks like it's going to so there's our website so that's all working great so now what you want to do is go right on over to Google and you can type in submit press release free and you can actually find more press release sites that you can submit to. So that's the process for promoting your site with press releases. In this next video we're going to talk about web 2.0 properties that you can use to actually promote this campaign a little bit more. So what I recommend you do is that you pull up the press release that you wrote in the previous video and that you have in your notepad file. So I recommend that you pull this up. It's highly recommended that you save this file so that you can access it at a later time. So what I do is I go to blogger.com first. If you have a Google account, you'll be able to sign right in. If you do not, just choose create a blog. A Google account could be AdSense, AdWords, or Gmail. Any of those will get you into blogger.com. So I recommend that you just come right over here to blogger.com and just log in with your main website that you're going for. Okay, now that you are now logged into your blogger account, you'll see something that looks like this. You might see several blogs in there. So what I recommend you do is that you just choose create a blog and for your blog title choose your main keyword phrase so Oakley 
obviously you would submit you know Xbox 360 Nintendo Wii uh, whatever it is that you are promoting then choose check availability and ideally you want to have your main keyword phrase in your blogger URL as well then just go through their word verification and hit continue and then the next thing you want to do is choose your blog I recommend just this first theme is usually pretty good and then choose start blogging now it's going to take you right here to your first post so this is right where I would actually submit that press release that you already wrote it's just important that you're getting more exposure out there and more possible backlinks to your website so what I recommend you do here is you come over here and insert this press release and just paste that in here okay so I've gone ahead and pasted that press release in there and now what you want to do is actually make everything clickable so we're just gonna highlight that text click up here to this little paper clip icon and the world and just put in your main website there and find your other link and do the same thing because this is where you want to send people right back to your website I also recommend that you take the main keyword phrase you're trying to rank for and you actually link up that keyword phrase as well okay now what you're gonna do under here is where it says labels put in your main keyword or your tags and then just choose publish post and then you can actually click here on view post to actually take a quick look at it so there you have it that all should link right into your website so you just want to test that out and it looks like it is so that seems to be working great so that that is working great so now that that is set up correctly you could go in and you could actually bookmark this blogger site just to kinda help get a little bit more traffic coming in as well that would be another strategy to consider now another web 2.0 property that I would leverage is a site called Squidoo so if you're first time to Squidoo just you sign up it's squidoo.com very popular web 2.0 site and you can just put in your first name last name email then simply come over here and choose login once your account is set up so I'm just gonna do that login real quick here now what you're going to do is go ahead and choose create a lens this is my test account here and put what your lens is about which is your main keyword phrase which in this example it's going to be like your product phrase you want to choose I just want to get the word out about that choose continue and then set your lens URL so it's best if it has your main keyword phrase in the URL and then as far as topic goes you could choose your topic so I'm gonna choose shopping and that's usually what you would probably choose for these examples now again you could apply this to any kind of product but we're just applying this with the main keyword phrase being product specific phrases going for popular products in amazon.com so go ahead and click on continue best keyword is Oakley gas can sunglasses you could also try additional phrases it's also good if you do that and then just go ahead down here insert their word and then choose build my lens so again very very basic up to this point now what you're gonna see here is an area that says you know basically it's got your title there introduction so this is important click on edit your lens intro title 
you could leave that blank or you could actually make the title of your press release that's what I would recommend doing so that's what we're gonna do here and that's why it's good to use this press release you obviously don't have to you could create an entire article but why go through the trouble again if you don't have to you know the goal here is to just get the promotion going get some content flowing for this particular niche you're going after and then go on to the next one now if you want to highlight a particular text and make it bold you could actually just highlight it and hit bold and then also alternatively you could actually make the keyword phrase itself that you're trying to go for you want to highlight that and you could actually link that up if you wanted to and all the links will look like a little paper clip right here so just put in your link and then hit OK and then scroll right on down here and say save and then you can come up here to make sure the links are working and you need to add a little bit more so here's actually something where you can actually tie your web 2.0 properties together so that's why I had you set up blogger first come right over here it says new RSS add your blog click on edit and then what I would do is what URL would you like to pull your RSS from is come over to your blogger site scroll all the way down to the bottom of your main site so I'd go to the home page of your blogger page and then scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see something called post Adam subscribe to and it says subscribe to post Adam you can actually take that link and hit properties and then copy that address copy that address that's now an RSS feed and you could actually copy that and actually submit it right in here and then just leave all this you could put you know excerpt 100 characters and then hit save and that's actually going to help you get some more content out there while actually getting it submitted so notice it added more keyword rich content so you could put in like let's say an amazon.com module you don't need to I would just stick with this for right now and that's another great feature is you could actually go to edit here and put in you know choose great products and you could actually let Amazon help pick products but I don't recommend you do that um, just because it might take away from your affiliate commissions so you can actually cancel out of that and if you don't like anything up here just hit cancel and then hit OK Now what I recommend you do next is just take off. You could keep the Flickr photos actually, so I'd just click on edit and then you could actually go here to where it says, you know, let let Flickr pick or you could say let me pick or pick by photo set. I'd just let them pick and then enter your search term. So I'd enter, you know, um Oakley and then that would pick up Oakley sunglasses. and then tell it to pick up five photos and they could update that daily that'll just kinda help keep it fresh doesn't look like there are any pictures found you could also come over here to YouTube videos and actually put in you know YouTube video so you could find a video related to your product over at YouTube which is what I recommend you do so let's just go over to youtube.com and just have you plug in some information so YouTube okay so there's a video of somebody reviewing it so you actually just grab the link to it and come right on over here and it will say let me pick and then you could choose show full-size video come right down here and then enter that link in there and hit save and then that will display the video and then for guestbook you can just leave that there for new delicious bookmarks you can click on edit 
and actually choose you know bookmarks by tag if you wanted to or show popular bookmarks and you could just say Oakley sunglasses and hit save and then the last part is you want to go down to the new Google blog search and you want to just hit edit. The reason you want to do all these things, they may seem in insignificant, is because they usually will not let you publish it unless you have something with a significant amount of content. So I would just put in your main keyword phrase, choose blog post, and then go ahead and hit save. Then when you're done with all that, come right up here and click on publish. and now it's going to tell you if it went through so you can just click on view this lens and now you've got another web 2.0 property with your content that's backlinking to your main website again notice it's got good keyword rich backlinks all these are linking right into your main site which will help you get some more traffic and there you have it there's your release there's your RSS to your blogger page and these are all the alternative things that you needed to have it submitted so that's what your page looks like now you could social bookmark this property as well to kinda of help it get more traffic so you can probably start to see how this funnels coming together you've got your press releases you have got your web 2.0 properties you have got your social bookmarking properties and then a final step is you can just go to google type in free blog there's a whole ton of free blogging sites like blogger.com out there that you could actually set up free blogs on link them all to your main website page to actually get more backlinks to that uh, but on the next video I'm going to show you how to actually go and set up a video to promote this whole system so we'll go into that next for this next video I'm going to show you step by step how to actually create a short video very short video it's very simple to do how to put it together then how to promote it on YouTube so you can start getting some pretty rapid traffic through the video search engines so what you're gonna do now is go right on over to your start menu of your computer if you're using a Windows computer you're gonna be looking for a Windows Movie Maker program Windows Movie Maker is what it's called it comes installed on Vista and XP Windows operating systems if you are using a Mac they have a program called iMovie that will have very similar functions so what you're gonna do is come right on over to Windows Movie Maker or iMovie whichever one you're using and you're going to open it up simply next thing you're going to do is you want to go over here to where it says tools and you want to select narrate timeline so let me just do that one more time to make sure you can see that tools narrate timeline now what you want to do is you want to actually start a narration which basically means you're going to be talking about your product so for example let me do this here the Oakley gas can sunglasses are highly effective and they feature nice clean looking polycarbonate lenses they make a perfect gift and they look extremely stylish make sure you check out your Oakley gas can sunglasses today okay and so now after you do that you stop your narration and I'm just gonna go in here and I'm going to save this now so I've stopped the narration I'm going to save it in my computer so let's just go to my internet folder here and let's just go right on in here and let's just save this okay and then we're just gonna call this and then hit save so just the name of the product okay and notice what it did it automatically added the product right here to the timeline now just hit close come right over here and hit and ne next thing you want to do is you want to gather images of your product that you're promoting so you want to grab images of your product that's the next step so that's what I'm going to do here go to the website I'm promoting and you could you know look for images of the product and you could use um, you know to grab the images you could actually just you know like right click if it would let you and you know hit save target as and so you could also do like a Google image search that's something I also like to do so let me just go to Google real fast and go to image search 
So there's Google Images. And what I'm going to do here is just type in, you know, the name of the product. So here's like a picture of that product. I could come right over here and just download that product by hitting right click save as for example so there's kind of a picture of it now what I re would recommend you do is you come right back over to your Windows Movie Maker software and go ahead and import that picture so just import pictures click on import and then pictures import pictures and then I'm gonna just look for the folder where I saved them which I believe was in pictures and let's just see there they are here's a couple of images of the product we'll just click on import and then you just drag them down to the timeline here and if you actually overlap them you could actually give them some nice transitional effects and then you can just extend the last one out or you could just leave it like that because we're going to add a beginning and an ending slide so you just want to go here to where it says titles and credits titles and credits and it will take just a moment to pull up Once it pulls up, simply choose title at the beginning and enter your text, which will usually be just your domain name. And then click on add title. Now you can come right over here to the title and double click on it and you could actually change the text font if you wanted to, like if you want to make the font smaller so it actually show up a little bit better. You could do that and if you want to change what the font looks like like let's say you want to just change it to a more natural like maybe Arial black for example and you want to edit the background you could just click on that right there choose that hit OK and then click on add title then you could also right click on that hit copy and you could actually move it to the end as well if you wanted to So that would definitely be a good option for you. So now you've got your video set up, you've got your pictures, you added your title, you got your audio of you just talking about it. So in literally minutes you just created a video. So as you can see here in literally just a few minutes right before your eyes we went step by step through creating a very short video. It was very very easy to do and notice it just rotates through. Now that you're done with that, just go to File, Publish Movie, so go ahead and choose File, Publish Movie, and then choose to this computer, so let me just bring this window down, Publish to this computer, and go click on Next, and choose the folder you want to save it in, so I'm just going to go to Browse and let's just save it up here to like the desktop hit OK and let's call this Oakley gas can movie and then simply come right up here click on next down in this area and then go ahead and choose publish you want to make sure best quality is selected click on publish it will take just a moment for that video to render as you see here might take longer if you have more so now you can come right over here click on finish and you've now created your movie in literally a mere minutes so now what you need to do is go right on over here to YouTube so just jump to youtube.com and we're gonna submit this video to a video search engine so YouTube is huge everybody knows about it if you already have a Google a Google account or YouTube account just sign in otherwise choose create account and you can go through that special creation process so let's go ahead here and log into our Google account. So what I'm going to do here is just simply choose upload. And then it's going to ask for the video, choose upload video. And you want to pull down here, you want to look for the video on your desktop or wherever you saved it and it should alphabetize things as well so let's just look for that video here it is and then for the title of the video use your main keyword phrase 
And then for the description, it's very, very important that you follow these steps exactly. Put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your domain. And then put in, you know, here is a short review of the new Oakley So just make sure you include your keywords in there. Okay, and then choose a category. So you could just choose people and blogs, typically a good one when you're doing reviews. And then choose share the video with the world and then hit save changes. And now your video has been set up. So you can come right on over to your area right here, your name up there at the top, and then select My Videos. And you'll see here you've got your very short video already right here live on YouTube. So there's the video that's playing. It's already live on YouTube. Literally minutes in this entire series, I went from A to Z how to create that video using Windows Movie Maker. iMovie has a very similar narrate function. And all you're doing is you narrate the file. So you go to Tools and Narrate. You narrate yourself. You could read an article about the product. You could find information on the product. Just narrate it. And then it's going to save it right into your timeline. Import pictures of your product put your titles with your link in there at the beginning and the end and then you're good to go after you publish the video then upload it to the video search engine using your main keyword phrase and then you could go out to other video sites like rever.com and a whole variety of other sites as well to use so that's the entire you know process as far as creating a video and this is actually in the next video we're going to kind of close things up finalize things and show you some additional uh, options additional products you could possibly go after All right, in this final video, I just kind of want to wrap things up and show you kind of a way that you can progress this and move it forward. So you saw in the past series how simple it was to find some products through Amazon.com and actually start promoting them. So now that you have this knowledge, the best thing you could do is go to Amazon.com right now and make sure you pick you know, five to ten products that you can just start doing campaigns for. The more you get out there, the more results you're going to start seeing. The more you promote your sites, the more you're going to start seeing. I showed you the bare minimum as the promotions go. There's you know, hundreds of press release sites, hundreds of video sites, tons of Web 2.0 property sites, lots of social bookmarking sites. So you need to just expand upon what you're doing. Maybe target different keywords related to your specific product. The most important thing is that you go out there and you keep doing stuff, that you just keep moving forward and just focus on one campaign at a time so let's say it's the Xbox 360 system just go until you're done promoting that one then go on to the next one Nintendo Wii promote until you're done with that maybe it's a new video game that's coming out you just keep promoting that till you're done with it maybe it's the sunglasses like I showed you just promote till you're done with it and just keep focusing that way now on top of Amazon.com there's three other websites I want to share with you that you can actually go to to become an affiliate for physical products one of those is Commission Junction. I'm sure you've heard about them. You can just go to cj.com, cj.com, and you could actually just sign up for a Commission Junction account. They have a lot of products that you may not be able to find at Amazon.com. Shareasale.com is another one. They sell a lot of physical products that you can also become an affiliate for. And then eBay Partner Network is another one. I say them last just because they have a very difficult approval process so I'm not gonna tell you you know to run out and, and apply with them um, they do you know they I have had some success with them I know some people other people that have so they are also a good one for you to consider so the eBay partner network as well um, just make sure you have an established website before you go out and approach them and make sure you can explain to them how you're planning to promote which is going to be through search engine traffic web 2.0 marketing those kind of kinds of things which should help you get approved 
But for the most part, Amazon.com should really be all that you need. I just wanted to give you some other ideas. The main thing here is that you rinse and repeat this process. And as you do it more, the better and better you're going to get. So it's best, you know, you're going to get the best results if you do this, you know, multiple times over and over again. And also, if you expand upon the promotions, you're going to get even better results. So that's just kind of the final words I wanted to leave you with and wish you the best of luck as you move forward with this new venture.